Welcome to the Citrix Essentials Advanced Storage Link Technology Demo. Storage Link Technology simplifies storage configuration and operation by enabling Hyper-V and Zen Server to use advanced native storage array features. Citrix Storage Link provides direct integration into storage systems to offload storage-specific tasks to the array hardware, such as cloning, deduplication, thin provisioning, and snapshots. The following demo will show Citrix Essentials Storage Link technology integrated into a Hyper-V environment. Similar Storage Link capabilities are already provided in Essentials for Citrix Zen Server as well. Here we are looking at the Storage Link Administrative Console. This is the tool you use to set up the deep integration between hypervisors such as Hyper-V and the hardware storage arrays, switches, and server adapters in your environment. In this current view, you can see that I have a connection to an existing Hyper-V server. If I drill down into that server, I can view information about the virtual machines and the different types of storage connections on the system. You'll notice that Storage Link is able to automatically discover both iSCSI and fiber channel-based connections. Storage Link will use this information to decide the best way to route and connect the storage arrays in an environment automatically. When moving virtual machines with Microsoft Quick Migration, it can even enable transfers between systems with an iSCSI connection to a system with a fiber channel connection, seamlessly handling all the reconfiguration operations for you. Here we can see the storage infrastructure connections that Storage Link has to the storage arrays and any storage switches in the environment. Storage Link not only provides direct integration to storage arrays, but it can also control and configure the storage fabric infrastructure as well. This allows Storage Link to provision storage on an array and then automatically route that storage only to the systems that are entitled to access it, even across complex storage fabrics. Without a solution like this, it requires a large number of manual operations across multiple storage components in the environment to route storage to the right servers. Here we can see templates that I can use to build virtual machines. I have two VM templates set up here, one I have set up to allow me to create a large number of dedicated desktops for use with Zen Desktop, and the other is a web server template that I can use to spin up a large number of web servers for my public website. These templates combine a profile for the storage needs, virtual hardware needs, and then also an OS image stored in an array volume. Let's take a look at how we can use these templates to spin up a bunch of dedicated Vista desktops for use with Citrix Zen Desktop. Here we are back at the Hypervisor tab. I'm going to simply click on the Create VM from Template option, and it pops up a simple wizard to walk me through the process. You can see that I can pick from my different templates and then view the hardware and storage profiles associated with them. These contain the recipe for where to get the base image and the instructions for what type of storage and virtual hardware is needed. Here I can give a base name for my new Vista dedicated virtual desktops. And then choose the hypervisor hosting environment. The protocol preference allows me to force connections via iSCSI or Fiber Channel, but Storage Link takes care of picking the right types and paths depending on my environment setup, so I'll just leave that on automatic. The copy type will determine how the storage array is directed to create these new virtual desktops. By using the snapshot type, the arrays will use their arsenal of features such as thin provisioning, data deduplication, and high performance snapshotting to minimize the impact on storage usage and loading on my storage fabric. And then I finally just enter the number of VMs I want to create. I'm going to choose six as a start. And here is a summary. Now when I click Finish, the system is going to work with the storage arrays, the storage fabric, and the hypervisors to create these virtual machines. It's all totally automated. Doing this manually would require me to use multiple interfaces and literally hundreds of mouse clicks just to create 10 virtual machines. Plus, unlike traditional virtualization and storage interaction, where the virtualization software does all the storage operations, we're going to actually offload these to the storage arrays to do everything on our behalf. That way everything is optimized in hardware with minimal impact to the environment. So now Storage Link is talking to the storage array and asking it to efficiently create 10 new volumes for the new virtual machines using the existing base Vista volume. This will dramatically reduce the storage space required. So here you can see in the Hyper-V Manager, the six VMs have been created. Let's now drill down into one of them to check out the storage setup. And here you can see that the virtual machine has been mapped to a physical disk drive on the Hyper-V system. This physical disk drive is actually the volume that was created on the storage array. 
Doing this type of operation manually would have taken forever, but here you can see in a matter of seconds it's all done for us automatically. And now we can start up one of these virtual desktops, connect to it, and we'll see Vista starting to boot up. Storage link technology not only makes the complex provisioning operations simple, it also allows you to quickly take backups of your virtual machines using the snapshot backup capabilities of your storage arrays. This results in zero impact to your storage fabric and minimal storage usage. Thanks for watching the demo. I think you'll agree Citrix Essentials Storage Link technology radically simplifies complex storage configuration operations. And by using direct links into storage systems in the storage fabric, it offloads storage specific tasks to the hardware for maximum performance, minimal impact, and minimal storage usage.